All right, well, we got a AT Tiny 85 here, and we're running the fast pulse width modulation. Um, so, what we got going on here? Um, let's see, pin one is reset. Um, two and three are going to be our inputs, five is our output. Hit the reset. Voila. Um, so it's sitting at 5% duty cycle right now. And increase. And increase. Yeah. Um, Now, if so inclined, it's only a, what, 3.7 volt Nintendo battery. So what we got over here is a in-channel MOSFET with 12 volts and a motor and a floating pin. But we will put this on pin 5 is our output and Too much fun. Now let's look at the dull part. Well, okay, here we are in Microchip Studio for the fun part. Let's see, we're gonna tell the compiler how fast this chip is, one megahertz. Uh, we've got our includes here, IO, interrupt, and delay H. Got some little bit manipulation macros defined. And a function is button pressed and a variable duty cycle and we're going to set that to five to start off we're going to jump in the main here and the first thing we're going to do is set the data direction register port B PB0 to 1 it's going to make it an output which corresponds to pin 5 on the chip Next, we're going to set the waveform generation mode bits, WGMO, WGMO1. It's going to tell it, hey, we want a uh, fast PWM. And we're going to set the uh, clear bottom, com clear compare match to bottom. Right here, in the same register. Next, we're going to set the uh, timer counter interrupt mast register bit 1 to overflow interrupt. Now, we'll do our uh, output compare register, which contains an 8 bit value continuously compares the timer counter we're going to divide our duty cycle by 100 multiply by 255 and that will give us a percentage you enable interrupts now we're going to take the timer controller register B and set prescaler to 8 just CSO1 well, that does it pretty much for the setup. We'll run through this while loop real quick. Have a if statement is button pressed. Uh, be port B, PB3. PB3 is pin 2. PB4 is pin 3. 
So if we press P pin 2 or PB3, then duty cycles less than 100, which we know it's 5 right now. We'll check. Not is bit set. The reason it is not is because these out input pins are pulled high. When you push the button, it will be pulled low, giving us a zero. So, is not is bit set? Zero? We're going to delay 25 milliseconds. If not is bit set, and hey, the button's still pressed down, we're going to return 1. True. And we'll increment our duty cycle. And the opposite is true for this. We would decrement our duty cycle if the other button is pushed. Here, we're going to do a little, if the duty cycle is less than 100, and our PB0, pin 5, is set, we can turn that off. It doesn't need to be an output right now. If duty cycle is greater than 0, and the pin's not set, we can turn it back on. Because we want an output. There's our interrupt. ISR. Um, if duty cycles less than or equal to zero, duty cycles going to equal zero, and our compare rate, our our compare register, we're going to set it to zero. Else. We're going to do our duty cycle divided by 100 times 255 to give us a percentage of what our duty cycle is. And that's about all, folks. And we'll roll through these real quick and easy and so long <laughs>